This is a 2016 Rolls Royce Wraith. Uh, eight, eight year old car at this point. And I tell you, the first thing I noticed when I popped the hood was that this thing smells so good. Um, it's hard to describe. It, it smells expensive, is, is what I can say. Uh, uh, has a really good smell of the motor. Uh, a famous Rolls Royce motor that it is. V12. I don't know much about Rolls Royce. Um, so I'm just going to describe what I see here. If you know about Rolls Royce or are looking for a Wraith, I'm going to walk around the car and point out everything that I see that's cool uh, and anything that's not. But I opened everything up here so you can see what it looks like. It looks odd with the doors opening, suicide. It, it kind of looks backwards when you're looking at it like this. It has um, air suspension, obviously, and it's raised right now. So that's why it looks like that. I'll go in and, and lower it as well. But let's uh, close this up and look around at the body. Close the back. That is a deep trunk. That must be four and a half feet deep. Okay, so on the outside, what are we looking? It looks like it has some uh, paint protection film, kind of older. You can see the wax, car wax kind of build up in there. Paint looks really smooth so far. Chrome looks good. I mean, for an eight-year-old car, uh, eight-year-old British car, this thing is really built like a tank. Yeah, more paint protection film you can see. Uh, paint looks clear. It's a little dirty. Windshield looks good. I don't see any rock hits or anything. This looks like, uh, oh, it's in the paint protection film. Make a little blemish there. Looks good. Car looks good besides sitting for a while. Needs a good, a good bath. But no scratches that I can see. <laughs> Very nice. I probably have to get it started to look at all the electronics that it has. Let's uh, start this up. Well, that's very nice. Okay, so let's see here. In the door. I bet you that's a light when it's dark, kind of glow, oh, kind of glows. Probably lock and unlock the windows. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is, oh, the mirrors, they adjust the mirrors. Just everything is so solid. It's like, uh, there is no plastic at all. It's pretty solid. Uh, this appears to be seat massage. I'll have to test it out when I drive it. Leather looks good. Door locks. Now let's get in the back seat. Uh, oh, it's uh, an electric to move the, oh, here it is right here. Okay. So in the back, ooh, I could feel that air that's so nice these pieces to turn off the air are just solid hardly any play in them and that feels really nice adjusting the uh, the mix of hot and cold what else we have here ashtray <laughs> so so nice everything that can be metal is metal 
Very nice. So for the for the lean. What is in here? I don't know what these are. If anybody knows, you can let me know. So the uh, Star Knight headliner. Now I hear that each Rolls Royce is different as far as the headliner goes because they map out this uh, star pattern to be whatever the whatever the stars, however they were when the car was made on that day. That's how they map the the stars. That's what I've heard. I don't know if that's a rumor, if that's true, but if if it is true, it's uh it's very cool. Uh, let me see. A lot of room back here. I mean, this is this is not cramped at all for a four seat coupe. Very solid. Nice. You get speakers right next to you. Oh, nice. No, a B pillar. That look really slick. <laughs> Driving around with your windows up or windows down. Very nice. Just everything is so finished. Very nice. The carpet, look at the how deep that carpet is. <laughs> it makes you, or makes me think it'd be nice to drive without shoes on. It literally is almost an inch deep. It feels like fur. The quality of the stitch and that leather. And of course, the famous umbrella in the door jam. Oh my goodness. And that's a full size umbrella. <laughs> it's very nice. Let's make sure the RR is straight up and down. Very nice. And to close the door. Very nice. This is just plush. Your lights. Nice. Panel lights. Oh, and that's very progressive. It doesn't even go like according to what you're rolling on here. And that is so solid. This, there is absolutely no play in that scroll wheel. What does this do? Oh, turns on your lane keep assist. Only available at 40 miles an hour. That's nice. Cruise control on the steering wheel, set, faster, slower, on, off, cruise control and ready position. Voice command, telephone, note oh, the scroll is MM. What is MM? All these buttons are so solid. Nice, tells you what station you're at. Very nice. Everything looks so nice. Park and brake. Park and brake. I'm sure that's the hill hold. Turning on your cameras. Yep. Oh, side cameras. And that's your overhead shot. Very, I mean, you think about it for eight years ago, they and that back then they had the uh, stitch for uh, overhead satellite view. That's very cool. This looks a little archaic, only being in black or white. And that adjusts with this little scroll wheel right here. But even that scroll, that is just solid. Back in the day with the, uh, I forget what they used to call this for BMW, but where we basically have a mouse right here. Radio, CD, main menu, uh, telephone, map, back an option that must be like a sub menu and your same adjustments for your HVAC, your fan speed. Oh, that feels so good. Really nice. Oh, and I like this, how these are your like big save buttons that I'm sure back in the day used to be just to save your radio, but now it gets so far and then it changes to CD, um, you know, CD, no disc, uh, telephone access real quick. This is navigation access real quick. And then this one is your 
spirit of ecstasy. Let's see if we scroll with that wheel. Let's lower it. And there it went down. Let's go back to raise. And there it comes back up. Very nice, same thing with here. Man, these, these pull and push tabs are just so solid. Is this a cigarette lighter? What is this? Oh, that's radio volume. Right. It's a mute, or is that phone volume? What is this here? Oh, that closes in case you don't want to look at a computer while you're driving. Very nice. And of course, the analog clock. This is your, oh, this is your raise and lower of your suspension. So we'll lower that while we're here. Uh, door locks, that's door locks. Maybe this is like on pick either side that you're gonna lock or maybe child locks on this one for the back in case you have uh, rich kids to go in the back of your wraith. Very nice. Same thing, seat heating, or not seat heating, seat massage. I like this. For inside the glove box, you have a, you could lock your trunk if you want, lock or unlock. So when you give it to the valet, they can't access your trunk in case you have suitcases of diamonds in there. SOS, pass your airbag, your lights. I tell you, for an eight year old car, it's probably your home link right here. This thing is solid. And the leather has worn very nicely. As you can imagine, they look like club club seats. And that stitching, man, is so nice. Okay, let's take this around the block. See how the wreath drives. As you can imagine, it is literally like driving your living room. The seat is so comfortable. It is no slouch either. It gets up and goes. Uh, tracks nice. No pulling. Yeah, I can see why Rolls Royce is going all electric um, because it it's such a big and heavy car that you can see it would just, it would match real well with an even quieter drivetrain. But I can't imagine, oh, I think the Rolls Royce, the electric, was it the Spectre or the Electra? I forget what they call it. I don't think it does have a frunk. Probably where they keep a lot of the batteries. Oh yeah, this thing pulls hard and smooth. And as you can imagine, just so plush to drive. Even if this is considered the sports car of the Rolls Royce line, now we can just see how it brakes. Yeah, it pulls good. Nice and smooth. I'm sure I just took. <laughs> I'm gonna slow down this car. I can't even imagine how much it weighs. Yeah, no problem. This thing has enough power to get out of its own way. Yeah, this would be the car to go on a cruise. This is just plush. And it even has small or small um, low profile tires, but it doesn't feel rough at all. I cannot feel any perceptible road um, imperfections in the steering wheel. It's definitely not a Porsche because that's all I have really to compare this to is like uh, maybe the Panamera, but it's just a completely different ride. This you could tell is made for not going fast. Even though it is pretty fast, you can tell it's made just a cruise. 
and it's so quiet you can't you can't you ever come to the mountains and because there's no highway noise or anything the quietness of the mountains really stands out well it's the same inside this car you could you could almost record music in here it is so quiet there's no echo at all very nice So you could check on the website uh, if you were interested in seeing this car. I believe it's, I don't know, 195 or 198,000 right now. Um, the great thing is about the way uh, being an auto nation dealership operates is they have a system where the price is always at or below market for all their pre-owned cars. They have a computer system that up updates the the price is live. That's why you'll always see a QR code on the side of the car instead of an actual price because they'll, the price will change depending on what cars like it around the country have sold for of similar build. So that you don't have to worry about, oh, is this a, a good car to compare to something else um, or another Rolls Royce? It'll always be the lowest priced car or I could say the lowest price or at market for the car that's for sale. So 25,000 miles, looks really good for eight year old car and drives, I would imagine like new. I couldn't feel anything, um, anything odd about the way this car drives. Now backing it up, that's another thing. Yeah, it's a long car. This is gonna be a two pointer. I'm gonna stop it here.